Okay, so you want to be able to play custom maps in Rocket League, but you didn't buy it on Steam before it became free to play like a f***ing noob. Aw, how sad. Shut up, no more crying. First things first, open up your browser because we gotta download Bacchus Mod. Why don't you already have Bacchus Mod? Never mind. Go to BacchusMod.com and hit download. Boom, that's it. Thanks for watching how to download Bacchus- Wait, that's not what the video is called. You've truly outdone yourself. Wait, you're still here? Wow, I'm flattered. Maybe you could hit the subscribe button and the bell to be notified when I drop my next absolute masterpiece. <laughs> Uh, now that you've downloaded Bacchus Mod, let's install it. Click on the zip folder, you don't need to unzip it. Double click on the setup and give it permissions to your computer. When it asks you if it's okay to close instances of Rocket League and Bacchus Mod, obviously click no. I'm just kidding, obviously click yes. Alright, from here on out, no more jokes. Did you know that you can auto-install by holding alt and pressing F4? Accept any updates that Bacchus Mod needs to install. Now that Bacchus Mod is installed, let's make sure of a few settings. Now, for how I play Rocket League, there's no reason for me not to have Bacchus Mod running, so I make sure to enable run on startup. I also don't really care to see the Bacchus Mod window and taskbar icons since is pretty much irrelevant when I start up my PC, so I also make sure that hide when minimized and minimize on start are enabled. That way I can just start Rocket League and everything is all ready to go. It is important to note at this point that you will not be able to open up Bacchus Mod to change settings by clicking on its icon or searching it in your list of programs. In order to pull up Bacchus Mod again, you'll need to expand the system tray on the right hand side of the taskbar and click on the Bacchus Mod icon and that will bring up the Bacchus Mod window again. Alright, we've got that out of the way, now onto a maps loader. In order to play any custom maps, we will need something to load a map into Rocket League. Go back to your browser and type in bacchusplugins.com. Once you're there, go to the search bar and type in map loader. You should have the first option as workshop map loader and downloader, and that is the plugin we want to download. Click on the install button, and then a big scary hacker window will pop up. Once they've hacked into your computer, you'll be delighted to know that the plugin will be installed next time you launch the game. Hit enter to exit the terminal, then launch Rocket League. At this point, you've downloaded both Bacchus mod and the map loader plugin necessary to load custom maps. Time to initiate phase three. Free play binding preference should pop up now as it is the first time launching with Bacchus Mod. <clears throat> Choose Bacchus Mod free play bindings. Hit F2 to view Bacchus Mod settings and click the tab second from the right named plugins. Go down the list to workshop map loader. Click set bind in order to set the map loader keybind to F3 and honestly I've run into a bug when trying to set it to a different keybind so I would just go with F3 instead of trying to change it. Click on open plugin window and you can see the path to where the maps folder currently exists. Add a forward slash to the end of the file path otherwise a bug will occur and your game will crash. You can change the folder path if you want to, I see so many videos saying to do this and I honestly cannot figure out why it would make a difference. If you can't remember where the folder is located, you can simply check back in here and see where it is again. But if you want a convenient desktop location, just go to users, the name of your profile, and then desktop. Click new folder and name it whatever you want, then click on that folder and click select. Again, add the forward slash to the end of the file path. Now click on the search workshop tab, hit browse maps, and you'll find a front page full of maps to download. Click on the search bar and type in a keyword for any map you want to find. I'll type in jump in order to to find Speed Jump Rings 3 by DMC. Then I'll click Download. I'll also type in Overhaul to find Dribble Overhaul 2 by Digby and Martin. Please note that if there is an interruption in your internet connection when downloading a map, it will brick your game from being able to download that map completely until you remove the partially downloaded corrupted file. Go into your maps folder, delete the file, and then re-download and it should work just fine. Hit refresh to view your freshly downloaded workshop map. You'll see a prompt to download some textures, but every time I try it, it does absolutely nothing, so do with that what you will. It doesn't seem to cause an issue as is. And that's pretty much it. At this point, you can click on the map that you want to load and hit solo to load in and there you have it. Custom maps in Rocket League for even those epic games no good degenerate. What's that? Oh, yeah, if you want to download a map off of Lethemir's website, which has a much neater search feature, go to lethemir.com forward slash my maps and download a map that you like. Once you've downloaded the zip file, extract the file into the folder that your maps are being stored in and it's as easy as that. Hit refresh maps and load in your new map. From what I know, this is the best way to load in custom maps for epic games, though I'm sure that may change in the future. In forewarning, this isn't a perfect system. You may have crashes or bugs that cause issues. I would say to just be patient with it and try different ways of diagnosing the problem to find solutions because a lot of the time, it just requires a restart of the game. Before I go, I just want to say thank you so, so, so much for helping me reach 100 subscribers. This is just the beginning, but I'm so glad all of you are here with me showing your support for this channel. If you want to watch more of my videos, click here to check out a playlist of my shorts content. More long form videos will be on their way soon. Thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time.